Well, why Jess? Well, why Matt? On the Breakfast Club. She's a coach of shit. She was able to get y'all to see something and understand something that nobody could get you to see. It's time to set it off. Okay, so a 32-year-old woman was arrested after police responded to a single car accident. The police arrived on the scene to find a bystander helping Margaret Lewis after she crashed her car. But when they went to check the car to see if there was anyone else in it, they found a body of a 35-year-old woman. The police said that the condition of the deceased was suspicious, and it was immediately apparent that the death was not a result of the motor vehicle accident. Okay, you just clicked off my story. What is going on? Okay, they haven't revealed how the woman actually died yet or her identity, but Margaret Lewis, the driver, um, was medically cleared of injuries from the accident. Uh, she was transported to the Adult Attention Center, ADC, and placed under arrest for interference with a dead body. Um, they probably won't charge her for a homicide until they figure out what actually happened to the woman whose body they found in the car. The investigation is ongoing, and more information will be revealed as details are clarified. That's crazy. Now, what if it was a rental? What if it was a rental and the body was already in there, and she what? just thought she was giving somebody a ride that was being very quiet? Just throwing things out there, people. Now, could she get out of that if she used that? I don't know. No. No? No. Where was the body exactly? It was in the back of the car. In the trunk or in mm. the back seat? No. What it, if she didn't notice the It didn't the say the trunk, it just said the back. What if she didn't notice him? She was like, I didn't, they were being so quiet. But this the thing, no, they were being so quiet, they're dead. <laughs> they That's the thing. But she, she didn't even crash into someone else. She crashed like by herself. Like, so I think that she was just so nervous. Oh. What if she was getting rid of a body? No, what if she was driving, right? Mm -hmm. Didn't notice the body in the back seat, looked in the rear view and was like, oh my God, what is that? And, and then, then crashed. <laughs> Boom, that's my alibi. How you don't look in a car before you get into it? What if it got tinted windows? What mm -hmm. if you was on your phone, you were distracted? You don't smell a dead body in the back? Not if it just died. I I think, well, how does a dead body smell, Jess? Oh my God. Oh, y'all just got to... Have, have y'all killed anyone? Jesus Christ. Mm -mm, no, man. Y'all are... Uh-uh. Y'all got way yeah. too many... Y'all yeah, watch a lot of true crime. Yeah. Y'all watch that. I don't know. I just I just feel like she was probably moving a body for somebody who made her do it. I watched a little bit too much Snowfall, but... Would, would you do it that discreet, though? Would you put the dead body in the back seat? Wouldn't you put the dead body in the trunk? If they have tents. Mm. Sure. Maybe she can't live. It's more trouble getting a dead yeah. body out of a trunk than a back seat. Send me that name of that story. I need to follow that story. Okay, see, that's, the, that, that's the type of story I need to follow for the next couple of weeks <laughs> to see how this plays out. See, I, like exactly. to see, I like to see how stuff like this plays out. Exactly. This could be like a whole show. This mm. is crazy. All right. In other news, Candy Burr says Ozempic was not for her. So Candy was recently on Page Six's virtual reality podcast to promote her partnership with HydroxyCut. <clears throat> oh, congratulations, Candy. Um... She said she stopped using Ozempic after she didn't get the results she was hoping for. That's what she said. Oh, last year I tried it. It was a ton of girls that I had knew and seen. I mean, I think Marlo a talked about it on our, our reunion <laughs> yeah. that year. And I saw so many people that were trying it and it was losing weight. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try this. And I didn't lose any weight. I didn't lose any weight. And everybody kept trying to say, oh, something must be wrong. Oh, you need a higher dosage. Oh, this, oh, that. You know, my doctor was like, I don't know what the problem is. I'm not seeing this in other people. But um, over time, I did have one or two other friends that were having that same thing. Like, it didn't curb my appetite. I know some people like, oh, I can't eat. Not me. I was eating appetizer, <laughs> regular meal, and dessert. I tried Ozempic and my back's still big. Right, like, yo. <laughs> and then it's, it's the women admitting that they got it, but it ain't worked for them. Oh, what the hell man. is wrong with your body? Like, I really thought it was like for like Damn. obese people. Candy ain't even a big back. <laughs> it's the craziest no. thing about this world right now. Like, yo, like you what? said, Ozempic oh. was supposed to be for diabetes. And then right. it, it became for somebody that was obese that mm. needed it because they couldn't lose the weight. And now it just seems like people are using it to just lose six pounds. Maybe right. that fat fighting back. That well, fat tired of well, maybe that fat just like you know, that fat fighting back. Okay, that yeah. fat tired of Ozempic, you know, raiding the body mm. and taking away them fat cells. Mm. Okay, maybe the fat got shields now. Or maybe not. Not the fat cells develop shields. Mm -mm -mm. But the thing is, what if it's like a synthetic version? Ooh, it's or, not even real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, what yeah, if it's yeah, not? Yeah, yeah. What if they are? Because so many celebrities are getting it. So many influencers. Mm. So many regular people just getting it. 
um, they're getting it as weight shapers, like as body curving and all that. Cause like, right. Candy, you look good. You was just up here a few days ago, weeks ago, Jesus. But maybe it's a synthetic version. Like, cause a Botox, they have a, synth- a synthetic version of Botox too. It wears off faster, it's more watered down. It's cheaper. And it's cheaper. Mm. Yep. Oh, it's called Disport. What? That's what it's called, Disport. Mm. Yep. Okay. And um, But it wears off quicker and it is cheaper. But it's not the long-term effect that, you know, Botox mm-hmm. is not Botox. So I think that it, it may be a watered-down version. But Candy even went on to say that her doctor, who prescribed the medication, was surprised by her body's response as well. Mm. I wonder how long I wonder how long <laughs> can they really see yeah. can they see how it affects the body after how long like yeah. you know if it's 10 years 15 oh, years God. you know because it got to be some type of long standing effects right maybe mm-hmm. maybe not I don't know and imagine if you really got a big back like you're not like because Candy not <laughs> a big back crazy. but you are you no, really part of the not. big back brigade and you keep going to the doctor over and over and over and you still fat and the doctor like those Zimpic not working it's, it's just <laughs> not working yeah like <laughs> damn <laughs> you just accept the fat Yes. You have to. You have no other choice. No, go to the gym. Go to the well, gym. Go to the gym. Go, gym. go to the gym. But these women don't. Ain't no gym in sight. <laughs> so now, so now, or desire. Ain't no gym in desire for them. Mm-hmm. So now she, uh, she has a a partnership with Hydroxycat. Okay. Well, maybe next summer. Until then, big back, big back, <laughs> big back, big back. Oh my God, that is just what the mess for her, day, yo. Hey, man. Because hey, so y'all, y'all can't see in the studio, but Mac is in a whole other room peeking at me through the door with a disgusting. <laughs> yeah, because that's so offensive. <laughs> but we should, we, we might want to do that for what? Well, uh, All right, Ozempi for Mac. Because mm. we don't know what other side effects come with it. As you're eating right now. <laughs> All right. Well, the People's Choice mix is up next. Thank you for that. Just with the mess. Don't move. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.